All right, we've got a question for you right now. What is your dream for today's world? Students across Dallas ISD answered that question in today's Gardier MLK oratory competition. Fourth and fifth grade students wrote their own original speeches, I like that, and they incorporated ideals from uh, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr.'s writings to answer the competition's theme question. And Alicia is standing by with our winner this afternoon and she has more on that competition. Hey, Alicia. Hi there, Jason, that's right. Joining me now is Holly O'Neill from Gardeer. She is the event chair, and I also have today's winner, Wesley Stoker. He's a fourth grader at Harry C. Withers Elementary School. I gotta start off by saying congratulations to you, Wesley. How are you feeling? Very good, very good. Well, you've earned that. We're gonna get back to you in just a second. Holly, I wanna start off with you. Let's talk about the competition, how it came about, the purpose of it. Well, this is our 26th year. Wow. We've been doing this for quite a while, and it was our opportunity to to uh, work with uh, third and fourth and fifth graders mm -hmm. at, with DISD to have an oratory competition and for them to learn about the teachings of Dr. King. And how many schools participate in this? So this year we had 16 elementary oh, schools wow. and 121 students. That's fantastic. So Wesley, let's talk to you now. What even made you want to join this competition? Well, mostly it was my dad because yeah. he is a senior minister. Ah, so it's kind of in your blood. That sort of public speaking thing, huh? Were you nervous at all? I mean, talk about how you prepared for this event. I was a little bit nervous, and um, first, I... You practice a lot, you thought out your yeah. thoughts, right? And I even understand you had a little bit of luck on your feet helping you out today, is that right? Yes, I have these pow socks. Awesome, <laughs> pow socks, can we see that, ladies and gentlemen? And did they just sort of give you the power from the feet yes. up to the, to the head there? And So let's talk about the speech now. Okay. Talk to me about maybe your favorite part, because you wrote a lot, and it was coming from the heart too, mm -hmm. right? My favorite part of my speech was the part that my dad suggested. Talk I may it. not look like Dr. King, but I believe like Dr. King. All right, so you gotta give us some more. I want you to give it to me from the top now. Wherever you wanna start in your speech, let us hear what it was that got you this honor today. Go okay. for it. This is my dream for today's world. In October of 1964, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, the time is always right to do what is right. Today, in 2018, I say, now is the time to do what's right. We can learn a lot from Dr. King's words and actions. The year 1964 was a long time ago, but we are still dreaming, and I have a dream for today's world. I may not look like Dr. King, but I believe like Dr. King. Oh, can we get a round of applause here in the studio? That was good, Wesley, that was good. Oh, that was so powerful. And I, I like that a lot because, you know, people may be questioning, you know, even why you wanted to participate in this competition, but it's, it's pure and you explain how your father inspired you and you made sure to sell it in that delivery, even in your gestures, you were so poised. Congratulations to you. Thank you. I'm sure mom and dad are very proud. <laughs> so how are you gonna celebrate this weekend? I don't know, jump on and down, jump up and down and mm -hmm. slam my face into the bed. Maybe get some ice cream. You earned it, buddy. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Wesley. Thank you so much Thank for joining you. us, guys. Really appreciate it. Jason? Wow. What grade is he in again? Fourth? Fourth. Wow. Fourth grade. Very impressive. Mm -hmm. Very, very well done. I'm impressed over here. <laughs>